uh, pray for French Montana, but I think he's out now. So I think this is old news. But I think French Montana is finally out of hospital, which is good to hear. Um, he went through some kind of health scare. We don't really know what it's about. Um, I think the reason why I put it on here was just because um, I think there are there is still there is still something to be said for being an A star player or celebrity or public figure because I think there is still the ability for you to. Uh, for you to what I think for you to kind of guide the narrative on your stories surrounding yourself. Like if you've got the if you've got good enough publicists, they can dictate what news gets out and what news doesn't get out. So I think the fact that we don't have as much information as we probably would have liked if you're a French Montana fan about his condition, I think also goes to speak to the level of celebrity that French Montana is. He's at that A star level where he's able to kind of have a team around him, he's able to kind of quell any rumours, make sure the story doesn't get out, and just essentially kind of keep mum about it. Because if you've ever been on TMZ, you know that those guys are able to get a hold of, you know, people's mug shots the same day they get locked up. You know, people are able to get reports on exactly what the condition of somebody is when they go to hospital, uh, police reports, sometimes even 9-11 phone calls, just insane bits of information they're able to get really quickly. So the fact that no one knows what's happening with French Montana, I think it's a good thing. It also goes to show that he has a really tight team around him. Whatever he's gone through, I also think is a, maybe a, a consequence of him being a bit more, too, too much of a party boy. I think I've kind of felt it recently. The last couple of weeks, I've been out a few times. I've had four-day hangover, especially after the whole tricks um part yeah mixed garage that i spoke about in the other podcast i'm still recovering still recovering from that night out and again that goes to show that you know sometimes i was a real big detractor when it came to the whole age thing it really annoyed me people say i'm too old i'm getting old i'm getting old but i think with a level of with the level of training i do essentially i work out five times a week minimum with the level of dieting and kind of you know the kind of con the kind of uh, attention I pay to, to things I eat, I kind of do intermittent fasting for the most part five days a week. It's no it's no surprise that when I try and party, when I try and go out as hard as I did in the past, it doesn't work because I've just I do too much outside of work or outside of my nine to five to allow me to kind of really party and go as hard as I want to. It's just too much. I would have to kind of give up working out and doing exercise and uploading a podcast at least three times a week in order to do that well and i think if you're a french montana probably even it's even worse because you're traveling all the time which you know being at those high altitudes and being in airports no matter if you're tra traveling on a private jet you know your immune system is going to be affected you're going to be ill quite often especially touching and feeling different people when you go out in club nights and stuff you know kissing babies and shaking hands um also the fact that you're essentially going to be drinking for free in a lot of places right uh you're going to be maybe eating for free in some places too you're essentially be going to be pampered, right? As, as a celebrity, you, every wish and and demand of yours will be met with a team full of enablers for the most part. So it's a very precarious place to be for somebody that um, has, you know, unlimited resources to have people around you who also want to make sure that you are good and you're having a good time because their wage or their salary depends on it. So he's a bit in the lose the situation. But again, I, I have sympathy for it. I think we're at a kind of similar age, right? French Montana, easy, same age as I. Not the same bank balance, but I'm pretty sure we're the same age. Let me double check this. <laughs> French Montana age. How old is he? He's 35. So, yes, yeah, similar sort of age. He's a couple of years older than me, but still, man. Um, prayers out for French Montana. Hope he gets well. Um, I think he's out of ICU now already at the moment. But this article is from a couple of days ago. It says, um, bad boy rapper French Montana remains in hospital after six days of intensive care unit due to a cardiac issues and nausea, according to the confirmed reports. The 35-year-old Moroccan native posted a video on Twitter yesterday showing him hooked up to a monitors in the hospital bed. Megan Thee Stallion showed up to give him support. French Montana bedside during yesterday's hospitalization, which is awesome, isn't it? Megan Thee Stallion is a great person. Isn't it? She seems like so much fun to be around. I'd love to hang out and have a drink. Wouldn't ride the boat, though. I think that's a bit weird weird but there's a video of her ass this uh, with giving them a little bit of words of encouragement which is really really nice because i can imagine if you're french montana being surrounded by millions of people hangers on the like to suddenly be locked up in a hospital bed and not have any contact with anybody must be a little bit ugh. do you know what i mean all the money in the world and you're suddenly on your bed and you're realizing wow i'm really on my own isn't it out here and you are really so to have somebody like megan the stallion you know i'm pretty sure she's busy in her own right to kind of you know uh rock up and announce and sort of like pop in and see if he's okay that's super cool man so yeah um the article continues to say montana's real name is um kareem whatever was admitted to hospital on thursday after experiencing severe stomach pains nausea and an increased heart rate interesting i guess is that like a byproduct of 
heart condition that you'd get a stomach ache as well and no I'm, i'd imagine nausea would make sense but a stomach ache too it's mad how the body works isn't it you get a stomach because i know what they say when you get a heart attack your arm is shaking or something you have something happening and that's when you know you're about to get a heart attack so um yeah man uh, prayers up for him hopefully he's okay um it might be an artery issue because i'm sure that that little that kid from morton's right the son of the guy that founded morton's he died recently i think the pink toko founder and they found it was like a basically he had a cardiac arrest so which happens sometimes just you just unfortunately in those regards so um, hopefully he gets better hopefully we see french montana around for years to come but yeah man um that was a bit of a distressing story but again it goes to show man you just you can't be a party boy forever i i felt it myself i can feel his pain I know what it is to be sometimes to realize that you're maybe not at the at your uh, peak performance when it comes to partying anymore. And you suddenly have to kind of be the boring guy who has a couple of drinks and goes home before the night uh, goes home before the night bus start. You know what I mean?